Hi there, it's Diane Evans here with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now, if this is your first time joining me on my YouTube, make sure that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And when you are down there subscribing, hit the bell button and you'll get notified as soon as I upload a new video. So today what I want to do is I want to play with this Flowers of Friendship bundle. This has beautiful sentiments on it. It has these really cute flowers. And of course, it has a punch that um, goes along with um, this particular um, stamp set. So today what I wanted, like I say, I'm going to use this. But I'm also going to use the Fresh Freesia uh, and the Soft Succulent colors that go along with this. And I'm going to, this will be more of a back to basics type video. And the reason being for that is this is for a casual blog hop or a blog hop for casual stampers. Casual stampers usually don't have the, um, the cut and emboss. They don't have all the tools. So I try to make it a little bit easier with just getting the basics with doing this. But you can still get a really neat technique with it. So I, I've got some cardstock cut. Now, normally what I would do when I um, get a punch like this, I would line it up on my stamparatus. However, these images are just too close in order to do that with the punch. So you have to do them all separately. So I'm going to punch, um, like I said, I'm using the Fresh Freesia. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some images. Now what I usually do when I figure out what the image is, is I figure out which way that the stamp goes. The beauty of this particular stamp is that it doesn't have a certain um, petal that has to go in those petals, if that makes any sense. And the reason being for that is I don't have to sit there and twist my um, stamp pad all around. Or my punch, I mean. This I will on this particular one. Now, what I also want to do when I do this, and I'm going to, I think I only need three of those. We'll see. I've got another sheet here if I need more. But what, before I go on, what I want to do is I want to take this, and this is one of my blending brushes. I'm just going in here, and I just want to get some color on there. Like I say, we're going to be taking this really easy by coloring it just like so. We're going to add some Wink Stella afterwards, I believe. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. But I think the Wink Stella will just make this card pop. So we have that one done. Now this stamp here, or this punch, goes, so I'm going to punch it or stamp it so that it's like that, so that I can just easily stamp that. Now I know I'm going to need more of this particular one, so I'm just gonna go in and we'll just do this. I say I'm not sure exactly how many how much I'm going to need but I'll just go in and I'll we'll just color this up and the different variants of this being sponged is all going to add towards the card okay I think we're done with that and so I'm coming in this is going to be like the free freesia um base and this is five and a half by eight and a half and it scored at four and a quarter so let's just go in there and we're just going to use our bone folder we're going to leave that out because we're going to be playing with the bone folder a little bit more and then i have the base that goes on here like this now my whole idea of this card is i've got a certain way that i want to do it i want it to come down kind of like this so we'll see how that works once i start cutting these out and everything. So when I cut a certain way, I want to make sure I don't cut any of the next flower. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch those out. Oops, I see I'm gonna catch that next flower over. I was hoping I won't, maybe I can do that where I don't get that flower. We'll see what happens with that. I did punch into that flower, so we'll see if I can resurrect just using this one. We'll make sure we get rid of that one out of the way there. 
And let's see, I did punch a few more here. We're going to start from this side. Now I didn't sponge those, so I want to make sure that I go in and sponge those. Pick our card base out of the way. Now, there's lots of other ways that I could have colored these flowers. I could have gone in with um, an aqua painter or, or water brushes. I could have um, gone in with a blending brush. I could have gone in with my blends because we have blends that go along with these colors. And I also could have gone in with my markers. But I thought, let's take this one easy. Let's just quickly cut those out. I'm just going to get rid of some of that stuff so that my punch doesn't so now maybe a hint would be stamp these further apart and now I'm just going to go in with this now just to give you a quick tip if you have a really small piece you can come in with a post-it note and this is what we're going to do with this particular one and I'm going to use that as being able to hold on to this now this is shorter so I'm going to have to turn it over so that I can get it into the punch itself there we go you can get rid of those say we've got a bunch of those now we've got the bigger one let's go ahead and punch the bigger one I think I'm gonna have to start from this side again so that I don't see I've got I will have to but see all of these petals match so it won't matter if you um, go ahead and um, punch any of the petals so I'm hoping there we go. I'm thinking that that might be right. Punches are so quick. They, instead of with die cuts, you can just punch them out. You don't have to bring in a machine and everything else like that. Okay, so we've got that like that. Now, like I say, what I want to do is I want to have my card kind of go down like this. So I'm going to go in and I am actually going to use my bone folder. And I'm going to curl some of these leaves. Not all of them, but some of them. I'm actually going to pop those two up together. And I have another one here. And I think what I could do is I could pop one of these smaller ones on top of one of those as well. But while I've got this like this, when I figure out how I want to put this on, I'm thinking I want to kind of go down like this. And I want to do one here. You know what? I think they look really nice. And I'm actually going to pop a lot of these up with dimensionals. Thinking go here. And, you know, I, I know I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on this one where I'm actually going to um, put the, I'm going to use Wink of Stella on here, but I'm going to use it afterwards. So let's see if that's going to work. I want this to go down more here, I think. And then just come up a bit. Okay. Once I start putting those on, it'll work okay. All right, so like I say, I think I want it to come more like this idea. There we go. Kind of like that is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to come in with my soft succulent, and I'm going to stamp some of the leaves, and I'm going to move them, but I'm putting them this in such a spot that I know where I've got them, the flowers going. Whoops, I did that leaf backwards. Let's see. I think we'll be able to cover that up. There we go. Sure, we will. And let's go and let's put 
don't want to do that leaf backwards again. So I'm going to put some leaves here. And I think we'll put some leaves over here. And let's see. And I think we'll even put one up here as well. There we go. Now I can go ahead and I can start thinking of where I'm going to put this exactly. All right, so I am going to be using lots of different lots of dimensionals on here. Some of them I'm going to be using the big ones, and some I'm just going to use some of the smaller ones because they're the smaller um, flowers. So let's close this up. And I'm going to bring in my Take Your Pick tool. And let's go ahead and start putting some of these dimensionals on here. I'm going to pop one of those up there over top of this one. I'm going to put it off centered, just like so. Let's see, this is going to go this way. Now, I think I'm going to put that one on top of there. I kind of have a plan, but not a real set plan because a lot of times when you go to start doing some of this it doesn't quite look the way that you wanted it to look and now i can put some small dimensionals on these ones Oops. so let's go ahead and kind of pop that one up there i'm hoping i can still do something else that i'm planning on doing here Let's go like that. This is going to come down here a bit. Let's see, we're going like this. Just have to keep playing with this to see if this is how this is working for me. Yep. All right, I'm going to put a bigger dimensional on this particular one. I'm hoping these dimensionals aren't going to wreck something that I plan on doing with this. If you had a um, cut and emboss, there's a lot of other different things that you could do instead of what this next thing is that I'm planning on doing here. So let's put another one on here. This is going to come down here. And let's put one up about there, there, and one about there. Yep, that's going to work. Whoops, oh dear, look at that. How did I do that? Oh, I don't really want that to go there. You know what, I'm wondering if maybe I could put a leaf there. So we're gonna try that. All right, let's see, put a dimensional there. And we'll go here. here, another one down about here, and then let's do this, there we go, so this, is, this card's going to have a bit of dimension on there, like so. Now, what am I going to do to cut that off? You know what I could do is I could go and I could trim this card just a bit more. And I'm thinking that that might be the route that I might go is to trim this card a bit. And that's what I'm going to do to try to alleviate some of that. Hmm. Because I don't think a leaf would work. Let's try a leaf. I think a leaf would kind of look kind of funny down there. So let's just try that. Now these leaves go like this, so like this, like this, and like this, this. Let's see how that's going to work. I 
really don't think that, that leaf is going to work there. But let's try it again. Do another one. I mean, I guess I could maybe do a leaf and a leaf and a flower. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let's try that and then let's just put a smaller flower down there. So we have that in the fresh freesia. It's not at all what I expected to do there. Let's put that there. And we're going to sponge some of that. Give it a try. We just don't know how it's going to look. It might be better with two of them on there. I'm not sure. Kind of looks funny, doesn't it? All right. In any event, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I am going to then put my sentiment on here. And this stamp set has beautiful sentiments. I love this. Life is better with friends like you. That could go there. I like this little card. Big thanks. Many thanks from all of us. And thank you for everything. It's a beautiful. Thank you one. Um, I'm thinking maybe this little card. Big thanks. I'm really stuck on that particular one. What if I could put that there. You know what? Let me just see how this would work. <laughs> oh, we're having issues today, that's for sure. All right, so then I'll just grab a piece. And let's see if this part would work down here. So I'm just going to go I'm going to clean that off because it's got a halo on it. Light little tap. Oh. There we go. It's not where I wanted it. You know what? I'm going to show you how I want the rest of this to go. So I've got a thing here, and what I want to do is I want to come in, and I want to go and just do some lines around here. So you'll see what I want to do. So we're just going to go in, and we're just doing a bit of a border around here. And it's going to miss some of the um, stamping that we've done, which is what I want to do. That's why I put this on last. And so it's just going to skip down there. And I like this effect. Um, if we had done um, something with with the big in um, cut and emboss, we could have done a frame. We could have done like whimsy frames around here. Um, we could have done a bunch of different things. So see, this is just stopping where that is. Do you know? I'm not sure. I'm not really liking that part there. So this is just going to come on here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm thinking that I'm going to have to go with a different color purple in order to get that um, to work. So this is going to end up, it'll, it'll end up okay. You know what I can do? We're going to put an embellishment there, right? So I'm going to come in, I'm hoping Gorgeous Grape will look okay with this. And I'm going to stamp that sentiment. I'm going to put that about here. Being pretty daring putting this on here afterwards, especially with the way that my day has been going. And so we're just going to put that on there like that. 
Let's go ahead and put that on with my seal. And now what we want to do is we want to come in with our Wink of Stella. And like I say, I did this after, and the reason being is because I... Um, I thought it would be best to know which ones were on the top. So let's just put that, that. Anybody that loves this fresh freesia, this would work very, very well with. Okay, so we have that on there. We can actually put some more underneath. Yeah, that sure, you know, in real life, that really pops this card completely up. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to come in with some pearls. And I think pearls are going to be the answer on this particular one. So I have my pearls. And I also have blends that I could use, but I think I'm going to just stay with pearls on this particular card. Don't forget that you can subscribe to my video channel. You can see me make lots of mistakes. Um, leave the thumbs up. Um, make a comment. Ask a question. Um, and I'd be glad to answer those questions for you. I'm going to come in with this. And I think I'm going to put these in here. Definitely. Here. I'm going to use a bigger pearl for right here. Now, see, isn't that starting to come together? It's amazing what a few embellishments actually do to it. I want to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Let's go there. And what do they say? Pearls are, or mistakes are like um, an embellishment opportunity. And you know, we are going to put some pearls down there as well. Lots of pearls on this particular card. And we could probably put one up there too because we've got lots of mistakes on this card. So if somebody loves pearls and somebody loves these embellishments, this would probably be the, the card for them, right? Anyways, and you know, I kind of think this needs a bit of color, a little bit of color on it as well. So let's go ahead and just, let's put a tiny bit of color on here. And that's just going to take off the starkness. Oh, this is working better and better all the time. Yeah. There we go. All right, so also if you do live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Um, I have a very generous reward program. Just have to contact me and state um, to me that you'd love to be involved with that. If you do put an order in online, I automatically send to your email address. So check your email, your junk email addresses. Make sure that you check them to make sure that nothing's gone into the junk mail. Um, but I send off tutorials, and lately I've been sending two tutorials a month, and sometimes even a bonus third tutorial. Um, but I hope that um, you like that. I hope, you know what, I can just fix that up just a bit more. Oh my goodness. Now that looks like it's lodged down there. Oh, funny card. But, uh, yeah. So I hope that, like I say, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions don't share my video with other people i really do appreciate it but this flower is a friendship great um bundle um save 10 percent when you buy the bundle anyways you guys have a great day and um hope to see you soon bye for now